of how you can embed a grid in a cell of another grid. So for example, you can see here we have a really simple um, uh, grid on the uh, customer table. And what we'd like to do is add a new column to this grid and in each cell uh, in the grid uh, show the, uh, another embedded grid that shows all of the orders for this particular customer. So we'll go back to design mode and then we'll go here to insert and you can see he has an option uh, on the list of special controls called a linked grid. So we'll go ahead and insert the linked grid. So you can see now we've got now got we're going to have four columns uh, in our grid, and we'll go to our linked grid definition, and we'd like to embed uh, invoice um, uh, invoice uh, header. I believe is what we're trying to embed. So there we go. We'll choose this grid over there. Click OK. Uh, link it on the common customer ID field. And so now you can see that we've got a linked grid as as a cell in the actual grid itself. So let's go ahead now and uh, display that, say, in uh, Chrome. And uh, you can see the grid uh, displays, and then it starts making Ajax callbacks immediately to get all of the uh, linked grids. And so here you can see for the first customer, Michael Graham, uh, he has two orders and I happen to have put a row expander on this embedded grid here. So if I expand this grid, I get to see the line items for that particular order. And then if I go there and expand that, here are the line items for um, uh, order number 31. So here is cust the next customer, uh, Greta Jenkins, and if I expand that, you can see here are the line items for that order. And then, of course, each of these grids, this, these, this grid here, which is a row expander grid, and this embedded grid, they're all, f they're all full grids. They have all of the features of the grid. You can interact with them. I can go there and do sorting on that grid. I can basically sort on the extension field over there. I could uh, change the number of um, uh, records per page, for example, to two, etc. So um, all of these embedded grids and linked grids are, are full grids, and you can see the, the real power of the grid component because uh, it is completely recursive. You can put grids within grids within grids, and, uh, and there's no limit to the complexity of, of your layouts.